veil is your veil rent, torn in two. For several days now, I, I, in my spirit, I keep hearing the veil is rent, torn in two. And you know, the veil for the bride is like the, the crowning piece. It's the glory of the bride. Um, and, and what I'm going to try and show now is in Scripture, when you study the word rent and veil, okay, and in several places, uh, I'll go ahead and go to the Scripture. Hold one moment. Okay, so we're at Bible Gateway, King James Version, keyword search veil, V-E-I-L. Results, eight times. Shows up in Song of Solomon 5-7. The watchmen that went out about the city found me. They smote me. They wounded me. The keepers of the walls took away my veil from me. Uh, number 2, Matthew 27-51. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom. And the earth did quake, and the rocks rent. So it's basically saying the veil was torn into two pieces from the top to the bottom and the earth did quake and the rocks rent and rent is tearing in two and the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom and the sun was darkened and the veil of the temple <clears throat> was rent in the midst. And not as Moses, which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that through the veil that is to say his flesh. I just want to do another quick little check here. Uh, v A I L. For she had said unto the servant, what man is this that walketh in the field to meet us? And the servant had said, It is my master. Therefore she took a veil and covered herself um, to wife. So actually the word veil is spelled two different ways. V-E-I-L and V-A-I-L. And thou shalt make a veil of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twined linen of cunning work with cherubims shall it be made and this is where I kind of want to cover a few things with you okay cherubim are angelic beings that serve God and they're always in pairs and they're opposite of each other what you'll see is like here we have a, a brown hair brown eyes Blonde, blue eyes, one holds a blue ribbon, one holds a red ribbon. Uh, even on the Ark of the Covenant, there are two cherubim, and they are opposite. They're facing each other, but they're opposites. Okay, and just like fabric, we have a weave. We have one thread, and then there are two opposing threads. So let me see if I can show you this. So what I'm trying to show now is, is how fabric is weaved. You have one thread that runs through the loom. Then you have a thread that is going this way. And let's say this is a little cherubim. There's a little wing out there, a little body. Okay, and then there is another thread that is going the opposite, the over and the under. Okay, and this... I'll say is the other cherubim okay and they're weaving all right so now what I'm gonna go on and kind of show you and this is just basically fabric this is how fabric is made it's a over under over under but that only holds because there's an opposite thread so when one goes over the other one goes under and then they cross and they go again so I'm sure people understand fabric now so what I'm gonna show you here this is like the veil and the veil is rent, okay? And when it rents, when it's torn in two, it has like two eyes. And, and what I'm saying is these eyes are symbolisms, again, of duality, two opposites. 
all right and I what I've done here is I've sort of put this this division in in like steps of seven so this is one this is two three four five six seven so right now I would say for some people in this world their veil is rent it's torn in two okay and I would I would also come right back in and show you that the two columns is also the symbol of the veil okay duality light dark good evil hot cold up down rich poor okay and what is in between it is the rod so the rod of judgment you see judgment so rod it's a ruler okay it is a measurement all right so now what I'm gonna show you here is the same veil it's rent it's two eyes okay and so what happens is each one of these is a repair spot in 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 repairing the veil back together the cherubims uh, in one of the scriptures I read, God says you shall use the cherubim, which are two opposite angelic beings. So what happens is, within us is also chakras. Okay? And the chakras are done in a rainbow color. The first one is the physical world. It's the idea of food, water, shelter. Okay? The second one, and what I'm showing here, the rod, when it's straight out, it's a rod. But if the rod is bowed, it's bow L, bowl, which is the seven bowls, okay? And so what happens is, is these are steps and bowls, but it's in the process of mending the veil is rent, torn in two. So now what I'm showing is, is uh, the first one is uh, the physical, second one is relationships. It's the idea that we're not alone in this dream. There are other people here. The third one is will. It's I won't, I feel, I think this type of thing. Now, most people make it to here, okay, to this point, but there's a hidden block right here. And what I'm going to tell you is when a baby is born, the mother activates the first two, which is the food, the water, and nursing of the child, you see, and then the child is touching the mother, so it realizes, well, wait a minute, I'm not alone, there's someone else here, okay? And then as the child starts to grow, it starts to develop its will, okay? I won't, I think, I feel, me, 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 me. Well, this will can develop into the ego, and this is the hidden block. A lot of people never go any higher than this. The fourth is the heart. It's the heart chakra. It's the love of others. Yes. The feet is in the throat. It is called the word. It's basically learning scripture. It's studying. It's getting into the word. It's the mending. And see, and, and as these bowls are filled, it's symbolic. And I'm going to put in here real quick the, um, the Carduceus again. And the two twining serpents. The two serpents are almost like the cherubims. And they're weaving. One has a red thread, one has a blue thread. And they're weaving and they're mending it back together. Um, so then there's the third eye, but there's another block here. And it is knowledge. Knowledge is limitation. You see, knowledge tells you what's possible and what is not possible, which God teaches us that all things are possible with Him. But knowledge 
does the opposite. So this is the second block. It's overcoming the limitations. Uh, the sixth one is the third eye. This is where I say it's the imagination. You see, there's the third eye, the creative ability. And then the seventh is the crown chakra. And so now what I'm going to try and show you, once all seven have been completed, then the veil is one. See, if thine eye be single, then the whole body be full of light. But this is the opposite of the eye being single. It's dual. It's two opposing. And see, this is where we, in a crazy way, we divide God. Okay, but God cannot be divided. God is all things. Now, the voice of seven thunders. Well, when lightning strikes, what it does is, is it divides the atmosphere, A and B. Okay? But when this lightning passes, the atmosphere comes back together. So now what I'm trying to explain is, when this comes back together, it's a thunder. When this comes back together, it's a thunder. When these two come back together, it's a thunder. This one. So as the seven are united, and you reach the seventh, the crown, it's the voice of seven thunder. Because he usually for the bride, in some situations, y'all know I ain't a drawer. Okay, let's just say that's her head. The veil, once the veil is on, then the crown is on top of the veil. You see, but a lot of people right now are still trapped in the duality. And so what happens is, is the veil is rent. It's torn in two. Uh, but this verse sort of stuck out to me as some of the reading, Ruth 3.15. Also he said, Bring the veil that thou hast upon thee, and hold it. And when she held it, he measured six measures of barley, and laid it on her. And she went in to the city. And this is to me very symbolic of the veil is not rent. If the veil was rent, it would not hold the six barley, okay, for example, like wheat. And now I'm going to show you something else. Okay, what I'm going to show you is sort of words are very funny. I mean, they're just for me. I, other people, they think nothing of it. But for me, it just, they're, I hear so much more in a single word. For example, Hebrew calls the Old Testament the Torah, Torah, Tor, to tear, Torah, Tor, okay, so it's the Torah is the dividing of the veil, it's the whole story of the dividing of the veil, the Torah, all right, also we have the, the parables of the wheat, and the tear. So it, it's sort of like this idea. And we hit this, then we have the, Lord knows I can't draw, the wheat, okay, and the veil, Ruth 316. The wheat, the veil is not teared. Then on the other side, the tear are those that divide the veil. They tear. Wheat and tear. So Torah and tear. Are you a wheat or are you a tear? Just a different interpretation. Alright, I would suggest studying yourself.